everybody welcome to my vlog um today is monday it's the very first day of my fourth semester in nursing school and so i woke up with so much gratitude i just i'm just so grateful that i've gotten this far in the program and that i'm almost done and yeah so what i have today what i have going on today is i am training um for a new computer system because I've been put at a different hospital than the one that I was at for all three past terms in nursing school. And so we have to do a five hour online training. Um, yeah. And so that's what I'm getting ready for right now. It starts in like 15 minutes. And so this semester's clinical rotation is maternal child or OB, peds, whatever you want to call it. And so I'm very excited for that. And I'm just can't wait can't wait to experience everything i have not yet experienced anything kids related so far in the program and so it's a very it's a change that i'm very excited for so yeah let's do this I am done with that it didn't take the entire five hours it was like a little over four hours but the person who was teaching us was awesome time went by fast and so i just got training for the epic system um i've never used it before a lot of people say great things about epic and i was like how great can it be now that i've learned about it it seems amazing compared to the other systems that I have had in the past. And so, yeah, um, I'm probably just gonna do a little studying for the rest of the day in preparation for my first lectures on Wednesday and Thursday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello. Um, so today is Tuesday. Um, I really don't have anything going on today, um, school-wise it's technically lab day for this semester but they split our cohort up in half and so one half is going to go in today for our orientation lab and the other half my half we're going in next week for our orientation lab but um i still have a lot of work to do because tomorrow is our first lecture and they told us that before lecture we need to review all the readings we need to do them we need to review the powerpoints and watch any videos that we've been given and so that's what i'm gonna do today um it's a lot i didn't get a chance to do any lecture readings um while i was on break because the textbook has been on back order at our bookstore and so we don't have it yet um so didn't do any readings and but i did manage to get my hands on a pdf of um the previous edition um to the one that we are required this semester i have the previous edition and so that's what i'm using i don't think it's very different um they don't usually make a lot of changes to this book so um it's just like the pages you have to look for them and but yeah that's what i'm doing today and i'm also retwisting my hair so i don't look like a crazy person like i have been looking for the past couple of days um i do it myself uh it's too expensive getting it done professionally every couple of weeks. Like I cannot spend over a hundred dollars every three to four weeks on my hair. Um, there's, I feel like there's more important things I can spend the money on. And so I just watched a couple of YouTube videos and now I do it myself. Obviously it doesn't look uh, like it's professionally done, but I think it looks decent enough. And so that's, that's what I'm doing today. So just gonna get that washed and yeah okay, so i just finished retwisting my hair i think i did a pretty decent job yeah i think it looks good yeah and so right now i'm just gonna start studying um i'm gonna style it later in the evening so i'm just gonna leave it like this 
um, it's currently like 2 3 p.m. so I'm just gonna get into it and start reviewing my PowerPoint I have three PowerPoints one is like 39 pages slides I mean and one is like 56 slides and the other one is 29 slides so it, it's kind of a lot though yeah you know, I'm gonna get started with that. If I don't get through all of them today, then that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. So today is Wednesday it's lecture day and that's where I'm heading right now um, yeah so today's lecture is our introduction our introduction to OB lecture and it's like two hours 30 minutes long I kind of miscalculated my time and now I'm almost late um, yeah anyway I feel prepared cuz yesterday I studied and went through the material and yeah, I feel good about it. So we'll see how it goes and I will talk to you guys after. Oh, and I did my hair yesterday. Look at that. Don't worry, I'm keeping my eyes on the road. <laughs> just completed my lecture and I'm on my way home now um, well right now I'm at the drive through because I was so hungry I didn't what can I do you? hi uh, can I have number give me a second number three what number three yeah what's the drink in the sauce um pineapple mango small with Barbecue sauce. Okay. That's, Would that be all? Yeah. Second one. I was so so hungry. My stomach was rumbling. I'm pretty sure everybody heard. And anyway, yeah. So I'm just gonna go home and rest a little bit, and then um, go through the PowerPoint for tomorrow's Pete's lecture. So yeah, that's what's up today. Lecture was great. Our instructor was so calm and she's so chilled. She went through three PowerPoints in like in less than three hours. She just cruised through it. But yeah, it was okay. The information didn't seem too hard. It was a lot, but it wasn't like too hard to understand. So that's good. I know it will probably get harder, so We'll see how the rest of them goes.
so i am finally done with studying um for peds it wasn't too much it was just one powerpoint it was like 46 slides um so it wasn't too much not as much as maternity and but we did have two videos for like you know infant assessment and one for like adolescent head to toe i just finished watching that as well and i also filled out my board um yeah i filled out my pediatric side so it's just some pain assessment tools there were five that were in the powerpoint and then some pain management non-farm and farm and so yeah that's what i did um wasn't too bad the information is not too bad it's pretty easy to digest and so yeah i am done for the day um i when i came back from school i took a nap and i ended up waking up when it was almost 8 p.m so i'm probably gonna sleep really really late tonight um but i'm just gonna do my little skincare night nighttime skincare routine and then hop into bed and watch my k drama and then just call it a day so see you guys in the morning hello so i'm leaving my neighborhood right now uh i'm actually gonna be in time today okay so anyway something interesting you guys i learned yesterday in my maternity lecture i just want to drop a little knowledge here and there anyway so i love the cardiac system like whatever i've always been a science nerd and i just adore the, learning about cardiac stuff and just like circulation i always loved it and we saw yesterday we learned about kind of like circulation um for a pregnant woman like how exactly does blood move from the mother to the baby in the womb and one thing i found interesting is that the circulation it's kind of opposite as it is like a born human being it's more similar to like the pulmonary circulation so instead of your arteries carrying oxygenated blood your vein the veins of the baby are the ones that carry oxygenated blood from the placenta and then the baby's arteries are the ones that carry deoxygenated blood and waste from the baby back to the placenta so it's kind of opposite Anyway, I found that very interesting and also there's something called um, neonatal abstinence syndrome so this is when because the placenta um, she said it acts like a barrier to protect the baby from like harmful things that are in the mother's blood and the placenta filters the blood so that the baby doesn't get it too but there's still some things that are able to pass through the placenta like alcohol and um, certain drugs can pass through the placenta and go to the baby's circulation and also um, some viruses I think she said rubella rubella can pass if the mother has rubella then the child can get rubella too in the womb so that was super interesting and also oh i was talking about neonatal abstinence syndrome so this is when uh, if a mother is taking like illicit drugs or like alcohol and then the child is born the child actually is born addicted and then they have to go through a whole withdrawal from the mother's drugs that's so interesting i didn't i didn't know that but I'm sure most of you knew that, but I didn't know that. And so when the baby is born, they like need more attention. They cry more and they, you know, they just need more attention. You know, they're more fussy and they like don't easily gain weight. And anyway, I found that super, super interesting. And I'll see what I learned today in PEDS. Um, and I'll talk to you guys after my lecture. See ya hello everybody um i feel so sleepy right now anyway i came back from lecture hours ago but i'm just, I was just so lazy it's currently 
I have no idea what time it is. Uh, but I'm so sleepy, but I can't take a nap because if I take a nap, then I'm going to sleep late. And I need to go to bed early because I'm working in the morning. And yeah, so I'm not going to vlog tomorrow on Friday because I'm working. And I was planning to make like a separate video for like, like day in the life of a nurse take, CNA, um, you know, like come with me to work type of thing. So I'm not going to record tomorrow. Um, so next time you see me is going to be on Saturday. I'm so sleepy. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Today, I'm I'm trying to do better with procrastinating because I am the CEO of procrastination. I'm trying to do better though. Um so especially this semester um I'm just trying to like do work ahead of time, go through my lectures ahead of time just so that I feel more prepared and I think I'll just do better that way. And um I won't be as stressed if I you know, I just do more things to prepare for things. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I have my first lab on Tuesday. But since I'm not going to get a chance to like review the material on Friday and Sunday because I'm working. I was planning on doing that today. Some of it today. And then I'll do some of it on Monday. Because Saturday, I don't know what I'm, how I'm going to be feeling. Usually the day after work, I prefer just being in bed all day because my body hurts and I don't sleep much at night if I worked because my body aches. So anyway, we'll see how the rest of the week goes. But you guys, will def when you next time you see me, it will be on Saturday. So I'm just going to start doing my lab stuff right now. Mm. Hello, guys. So today is Saturday. Um, I worked yesterday and so I didn't vlog. Um, I had a really great day at work. I had my, most of my patients were selves. I only had one total and one assist and then the rest of them were pretty much independent. And so I had a really good day. I actually completed the entire shift without changing any poop diaper, like 12 hours. And I didn't change a single diaper with poop like like what <laughs> anyway so it was a really really good day um at least as good as it gets um oh and also like i had said earlier in the video that uh, my textbook at school was is on back order and so a few days ago our instructors sent us an email saying that not only is it on back order but it's on back order like indefinitely um at least before we did have we did know that it will come soon but now they said our books are stuck in mexico and so they have no idea when we, when we will get them and so they said we have to go to the bookstore and get like an ebook um but it's still pretty expensive so i ended up just going and i canceled the order that i had put in and i rented I rented it on Amazon, which I think I should have done that in the first place anyway. But I thought that maybe we needed some like online access or something. So that's why I decided to do it from our bookstore. But I don't think we do. So I just ended up renting it on Amazon. Um, and it just came in. Look at that. Ah! That is so heavy. Like what? Ugh. Uh. Let's see. Hope it's the correct version. And not the, the third edition. That is a really, really big book. Oh, that is heavy. So these are the rentals. They're obviously used. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I do not want to know what that is. <laughs> they're, they're used. So just hope all the pages are in there. So when you rent a book on Amazon, you you only you return it like a few days after you're already done with the semester, which is great. And I also 
I pay like I think one third of the price that I was supposed to buy it at at the bookstore, which is great. Look at me, I am busy promoting Amazon, but anyway, good stuff is good stuff. I highly recommend that if you're starting out nursing school. I have been using it. I think I used it last semester as well. I rented not last semester the semester before when i had mental health i think i rented my mental health book on amazon um very very great res resource resource um oh and i also ordered a new stethoscope this is i ordered a Lipman classic three stethoscope because i don't know which stethoscopes are good or not but i know that Lipman's are the best and so I just ordered the classic three. Um, it's in this like purple color or something. Um, my the laptop that I have, my old one. It's um, like I got this one a few days ago, but when I opened it, I was still like, oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Ah, look at this. so cute. Um. The laptop that I previously had, um, I don't think it was very good because I've always been felt like I am very bad at auscultations, like I'm bad at lung sounds and heart sounds, and so we're gonna blame it on the laptop, on the stethoscope. We're gonna blame it on the stethoscope. Why would I say laptop? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna blame it on the stethoscope and not my capabilities as a nursing student. So. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna... Uh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and I also ordered a couple more stuff. What's this? Oh, this is a little cute little badge, badge orders that I got. Look at that. Look. So it's like, like a little pill. Like that. <laughs> a little injection. And it's so cute and the little band-aid. <gasps> oh, there's more. Oh, that is way more than I expected it to be. The heart! I love, 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 love the heart. Like I said in my earlier video, I love the cardiac system. And look, it's a little heart. Ah, look at that. I don't know why it's not focusing on them. Eee, look at that. <laughs> So we're back from Target. Um, didn't get much, just got like juice and some veggies and clothes for my nephew. Um, very fun though. Uh, I like standing in this spot because I think the lighting is really good even at night because I have like a big light right above me here. <laughs> so I think the lighting is good. So I, I just like standing here. Um, anyway, this is the end of the vlog the end of the week in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like, leave a comment just so that I know, so that I know that you stopped by. Um, yeah, and I have so many more fun videos planned, especially for nursing students, uh, but anyone can watch it. Um, so I'm gonna talk more about my job as a CNA, how I became one and what I do and give you guys study tips on how to study if you're in pre-nursing or you're in your first semesters of nursing and just bring you guys to my clinical and to my labs and just have fun. Let's have fun. And if you have any suggestions for videos, please leave a comment down below and I will see if I can make I can make it and just see how I can help. And that is it. I'm just gonna continue preparing for my lab on Tuesday and tomorrow I'm working again. And so I'm not vlogging tomorrow. So I'll see you guys next time.
stay kind, spread love, and be blessed.